So Gable is a flat coat retriever. I work in a college in St. Neitz. I walk to the college with Gable and the kids absolutely adore him. And he loves the kids too. As soon as I take the harness off, he just forgets about work. This year is the 75th anniversary of the Guide Dog Association and I wanted to do something special to raise some money for them. And my friend Steve had a brilliant idea to put me to a challenge to learn to drive. We've been practicing driving for about nine months now. That's all right, we'll go around past Right half, no, there we Right half, right hand, right four, right half, right one, second, right one, right one. It costs thousands of pounds to train a guide dog. So the first going family up to the age of nine or ten months, and then they go to a special centre where they stay between six months and a year. Right and then after that they right actually right match right with right a uh, blind person. Right. 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 Indicate right for me. So a guide dog usually can work up to the age of nine or ten. Gable is my fourth guide dog. He's ne nearly nine and he was only 19 months when I got him and he was trained in the centre in London, in Woodbridge. Every guide dog has an MOT every year uh, when a, a trainer comes and verifies the, um, his work, whether he's still working on okay or must wear the decide whether he can carry on working on it. The guide dog association pays for all the vet bills and the food as well and the training. So that's one of the reasons why the Guide Dog Association needs continuous funding for all the aspects of breeding, training and helping with the everyday life of the Guide Dog until he retires. <laughs>